All right. Meanwhile, what were we doing? We just completed a mission. In the grim darkness of the future, there are only mechs without lasers. But we are bringing light. In the grim darkness of the future, there are only mechs without lasers. But we are bringing light, literally light, in the form of a laser barrage to the degenerates of this world. So we completed um, one mission. We, our goal was to do two missions, fatigue all of our pilots, and then move systems, I believe. Um, presumably the people we brought in the last mission are not people we're very interested in dismissing. Wait, how did this guy's gunnery and piloting go down? Oh, he's fatigued. Pilot will suffer from low spirits if used in combat. The Lance will also experience reduced resolve per turn during combat. Mood changes based upon funding. Plus one met pilot is, okay. Less resolve, loss from fatigue does not get low spirits from fatigue. Why would you get low spirits from fatigue? Okay, but all their stats are pretty heavily reduced. That's interesting. Okay, new mechanic. Anyways, we need to dismiss one of these guys. Uh, one of whom is our officers. We don't want to get rid of them. This is a technician. We're not getting rid of him. Uh, this is a command experience officer, so we're not getting rid of him. No, this is not. I misread this. Oh, that's annoying. This pilot has experience commanding a lance, a ship, or other military unit. Bonus XP for every pilot in a lance if a command pilot is present. Do we have... Is that a separate one? Commander doesn't live in the barracks. Why are, Why then do we see him when we go to the barracks? Mm hmm? Mr. Zero Baja with all the answers? Um, Alright, I gotta find the Rogue Tech Wiki then and take a quick look. Is there a separate ability, like the commanding ability that gives me this? Because I thought we were getting extra experience, but we probably aren't from this. Uh, where is the... Okay, um, I would like the other technician. To get the other technician, we will have to let go of either this guy, who is the cautious person. There was one viewer yesterday who was very adamant that defense was very good. At the cost of accuracy, although so far removing accuracy seems very bad to me. And then there was this guy. So we either need to make the decision of dropping a merchant or dropping a um, a guy with cautious. And I'm not sure which of those is the bigger penalty. The penalty to buying right now is 2% if we give up the merchant. Our current modifier is 21. We'll go up to 23 if we ditch the merchant. It's too bad because both those are passives. You know, the thing is, the plus defense thing is a tactical perk while these other two are both strategic perks I'm not against picking up tactical perks if we need them but you can play around a tactical penalty it's a little bit harder to play around a strategic penalty because there's less you can do it's about doing this for example so I'm, I'm kind of a little bit tempted to uh, to buy the guy do we want to build I kind of want to buy this portion of a black knight I think we're going to dump the the guy with the the plus defense bonus I'm sure I'm sure it's very good. I mean, it's minus accuracy for them, but I fucking hate accuracy penalties on my own. So it would definitely be a double-edged sword, which is a good perk to have, or a good perk to have in a game, but I think I'm gonna let him go. All right, Buckshot, nice knowing you. Dismiss. You're dependable, you're cautious, and you're gone. God! Oh! Or the half skull. Uh, I think that's gonna force us to piss off one of the factions. Uh, we either piss off Draconis Combine, Draconis Combine, the planetary government, who don't think anything of us anyways. Oh, you can't gain rep with this faction, so we don't give a shit about the planetary government. That's a pretty high priority stuff for us. Salvage is a little bit worse. What's Interdiction? This is versus Com uh, Comstar, okay. which I think is a good, um, good whatever. So this is one configuration, one five. I think we want to go just salvage, that's fine. Okay, we'll accept this. What is this game about? Um, loving one's neighbors. Uh, it's my favorite type of game. It's a both strategy, it's a strategy game with uh, both strategic and uh, tactical elements. So it's turn-based, squad-based combat with a uh, resource management as you run a mercenary company. Okay. Intel says that you're near your current, that they're near your current location. Move in and clear them out. Sure. Okay. 
Thank you, QED. All right. Your mech warriors are more important than your mechs. <laughs> Spoken like someone who, uh, who doesn't value hardware. Please. Please. Our mech warriors are replaceable and disposable. Our mechs are one of a kind. All right. Um, how far do you think they can move? Are these helicopters friendly? Do I have a friendly helicopter there? And friendly tanks? See, look, look at this. this. My movement path ends there. That's a downgrade. I guess that's a ramp. A very long, slow ramp in the wrong direction. That actually hits the edge of the map before the ramp gets to zero. But maybe I can come down here. Why do you think it's no fun? I don't know, man. High difficulty mods tend to be what I enjoy, so we'll see. I guess we're gonna act like I have to walk down this ramp since the opponent doesn't seem to be moving towards us, which is too bad because we have this glorious high ground position. Try right, pressing Alt when you attempt to move. You should highlight tiles outside of your range. Thanks. Useful tip. Let's try it here. Nice. And honestly, we have not far we're nowhere near further than this mod to evaluate it as mods go. I like that I took a one and a half uh, skull mission from a one skull mission, and it told me that's two. You're gonna get. It said you need heavier stuff, and then it proceeded to show me why I needed heavier stuff. I appreciated that. That suggests that maybe difficulty is a thing they believe in. I know it says like a million times in their wiki, like the difficulty is extreme. So we'll see if it is or isn't. Um. The AI is doing a good job of not running ahead of us, kind of staying to support us. I'm a bit worried about a bunch of vehicles that stand directly behind me and fire down range, though. Let's see how stupid they are about fucking hitting me. What are the numbers on the portrait? Some sort of initiative. Uh, they're exactly initiative. The higher the number, the higher their initiative. Right. Sooner or later, we're going to run into something that's going to be a little bit unfortunate. Uh, I think he dehydrated your QD did already, but I appreciate it. Uh, it really needs to, the reminder really needs to be in between. Well, I mean, I can do it during missions, but I'd rather do it when we're naturally taking a break from the mission rather than force a break in the mission to do it. Yeah, I, mean, I suppose we're building up, um, whatever it is. There doesn't seem to be a timer on this. This is our little guy. How's it going today? It's going well. Three early days this morning. We learned that uh, at least in the very early game, some of the mission warnings for size is fairly accurate, which is nice. Okay, forward we go. Enemy turn, they seem to be just passing their turns right now. These might be stationary defensive objectives. These might be like a turret or something since it hasn't moved yet. I don't want to give it LOS without having some defenses. I think I'm going to go there. Oh, I don't think that was a sprint. I think that might have been a move. Rip. Not what I wanted to do. I guess it is the fastest mech, so getting it too far ahead as a little tiny fast guy isn't very good. Okay. Oh. It's a commando. Is it a dude in a suit? Dudes in suits don't count as people. Oh, no. A commando's a mech. All right. Same initiative. We didn't tie it on our initiative roll here. Uh, let's move the hunchback up first. Uh, that actually messed up our pathing. Probably have to path around it doing that, so never mind. I take it back. Let's move the line breaker up. Line holder up, excuse me. Could indirect fire it with rockets too, which seems fine. Uh, and what then will we do with this guy? We want to move. Kind of want to get him in a position. Maybe an elevated position? Is this even elevated? Where I can start um, launching extended range PPCs. So maybe this is a sprint into cover over here to get close enough to jump onto one of these hills next turn and uh, PPC. Okay. All right, go, go, go. Rockets for friends. Alright, 
Commando's coming towards us. 25 ton mech. Blind Hunter does have way too much uh, armor for what it's doing. But I've been on it. I, we haven't. There's not time yet in the game to customize them. So these are the basic loadouts that I'm fine with. They're okay. We can make do work those out. We'll, we'll change them when we get a chance, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, do I want the little stinger, the blackjack stinger in positions for this? So is there LOS there? There's not. Actually, none of these supposedly have LOS. So we can get some really shit accuracy from there and put ourselves in a fairly vulnerable position. Doesn't seem like what I want to do. I'm probably going to reserve down on this guy. Don't need to turn off non-indirect firing weapons. They just won't fire with the LOS. Okay, thanks. All right, uh, let's take a look here. I think I would like again. I think I'm going to reserve down again. I don't like what it does to my initiative long term, but... I don't mind my teammates softening this guy up, and I don't mind that guy ch changing positions if he hasn't moved already. I gotta figure out when the ra the the turns change, like the rounds. Oh, Dogger! Was that that mech? The Whitworth? Looks like it might have been. Okay, this is the line holder. Get blocked direct fire there. I think we're going to overheat pretty quickly in this biome, so I don't really want to jump jet. Although positioning might be... Oh, we can't jump jet anyways. I don't have one. Maybe Xanabu. The answer is maybe. They just teased something today on their uh, their Twitter. That's why I retweeted it. thought there might be a little bit of hype for that. Depends how big it is if we revisit it. If it's just like a single encounter, I probably won't revisit it anytime soon. But if... Uh, if it's fairly significant, we maybe we'll revisit it. Really kind of loving our support our support uh, wing over there. Support lance of uh, ranged missile things. They killed that commando. As long as I still get credit for it, I'm okay with it. Um, this is our little guy. I think I might bear and entrench. I don't mind taking a little tiny bit of fire. The phase counter counts up, Gorby, right? <laughs> down to initiative nine. Yeah, that's definitely counting down. Did they steal my kill again? Sure did. Let's hope we still get salvage rights on that. All right. We're 67% of the way through the enemy units. So there's only one enemy unit left. This is insanely easier than the one and a half skull mission that we are doing. So that, I don't know what that means yet. That might be fine. It might mean that it's, um, the rating system doesn't really tell us a lot. Right, like this this mission, insanely easy. Last The last mission at half a difficulty level harder, uh, insanely hard relative to it. I just reserved. And then he was the next guy to go anyways. Feels a little bad. All right, got some use out of our evasion pips there. Took a little bit of armor damage. Uh, it will be sealed and draft, both available. Draft is limited availability, sealed is available all day. He has to go twice, despite holding it, which is really annoying. Chose a different target though. Maybe annoying, maybe not. Just a little bit of armor damage there. All right, we should just be able to absolutely destroy him now. The only thing we have to worry about is we gotta watch our shots from behind. So I like flanking him, but stacking up flanks means we gotta do this guy first. All right, um, we can get a apparently pure flank right behind him there with this guy. That seems pretty nice. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. How, how many, what percentage of the time do you think we blow the line holder up doing this? I don't know, but it looks pretty good. What is my accuracy rating here? Fire. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Alright. If that's a one skull mission and the other one's a 1.5, I hope there's... I hope there's like a 1.25 available to us, because that, that change in difficulty was crazy for half a skull. Hey, Sin. All right, destroy enemy units. Great. Faction rep. Great. Uh, we took a slight amount of armor damage here, I believe. 
Okay, potential salvage. We get two. Uh, we got commando parts, wasp parts, Whitworth parts. Man, the entire Whitworth dropped. No, four or five. All right, LRM tens, medium lasers, SRM sixes, a defiance case. And 